Well, the Bahamas Taxi Cab Union could have new leadership come September if incumbent Wesley Ferguson is not returned to the polls. Approximately 600 to 700 taxi drivers are set to head to the polls in the coming weeks to elect a new leadership team. Ferguson is facing competition from two others vying for the polls, Michael Bullard and Tyrone Butler. The union leader is targeting a mid-September election, but a firm date has not been set yet. Ferguson is entering the race confident, charging that he's running on a proven record. We're able to convince the government of the Bahamas to give us our own identifiable taxi plate color. Remember, the taxi plate colors used to be, um, I mean, the taxi plates used to be the same color of the taxi. So now that the taxi plate, they have reverted back to the white and green for SPs. So taxi plates have, that taxi drivers have their own identifiable taxi plates. Also, Within a 12 month period, this is the first time in the history of the taxi union that we were able to issue taxi plates to these 11 taxi drivers who are long standing um, members of the taxi union. And we're going to have a 10% increase all within a 12 month period. The union president says high on his agenda is to reconstruct the taxi union's Nassau Street headquarters, a project he hopes to begin after the election. It's not feasible for us to start a major production like that before the election just looming just a few weeks away. That's why our membership now is growing exponentially because a lot of people are coming back after the long break that they may have taken after the pandemic. Uh, so they're coming back to make sure that they have their voting rights and they could choose wisely who they would like to represent them in the upcoming um, new term for the next three years. In case you missed the news or want to stay ahead, follow us at ZNS Digital on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, or X. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit us on our website at ZNSBahamas.com.